Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. See now people are seeing you at like the epitome of strength, right? In emperor energy. Um, whatever they've done to you, you've bounced back from. This is you having already gone through the shift and standing strong and, and proud. Um, looking at things logically, making executive decisions for yourself to put people and situations and the pain in the past, okay? Yeah, some of you have even prayed to God for like um, a return to sender, any kind of bad juju. And as I say that, the Eight of Wands comes out. You guys, spirit is confirming like everything I say today after I say it, you guys, like immediately. Thank you, spirit. I love you. Um, yeah, there is someone here who is now carrying the burdens of everything that they've done to you. I feel like this is somebody who wanted to put the blame on you for everything. They wanted to dump all the burdens of the pain. Like this is somebody who mistreated you. They could have lied on you. They could have um, betrayed you, backstabbed you, ghosted you, whatever. Um, and they, they wanted to just toss everything onto you for that. Like they wanted you, you to think that you were the reason or they wanted everybody else to think that you were the reason for doing this. But you weren't. And so now all of those burdens that you were once carrying are coming straight back to this person. I'm telling you. This person, um, all they have are empty promises. I feel like they all they have are lies, empty promises, a bunch of BS. And now, yeah, see, they're getting their karma. I feel like they've sent you bad energy. They've been all up in, the, in your business, you know, watching you, stalking you. Okay? And you are just too strong for them. Your energy now is too strong to be affected by anything that they're doing, okay? And they are getting their karma here, yeah. And you're leaving them behind unscathed, in peace, in harmony, okay? Being very quiet, keeping your moves hidden. You don't want anything to do with this person. Um, I feel like you're putting the pain behind you. You know, you'll always remember what happened You'll always remember how this person made you feel. But when you look at it now, after this shift that you go through, and the shift that I'm talking about is a way of perceiving the, the whole entire situation that happened to you, okay? You're looking at things differently. You're moving on. You realize you're being divinely led here also with the Six of Swords. You know, you're going to remember the things that were done. But now when you look at those things, when you look back on all of it, you're going to see the progress you made because of it. You know, I feel like somebody here is very thankful for all the lessons you learned in this and how far you've come. You know, this is somebody who's triggered you. I feel like they gave you sleepless nights before. You could have cried a million tears, cried yourself to sleep every night thinking about this person, feeling brokenhearted, but now it's them. All of this is coming back on this person. Because you've made your shift, you're leaving them behind, and you're leaving them behind feeling peaceful. Okay, you're not, um, you're not brokenhearted. You're not in your emotions. You're standing strong and proud, okay? Yeah, this person wants to get back together with you. That's the truth. Now they're feeling like an absolute fool. But I feel like this is how they wanted people to, to view you. Okay? Um, this could be somebody who's very impulsive. They could be somebody who um, is reckless. They do whatever they want. They think there's not going to be any consequences. They think they're going to get away with everything that they've done. But they're not. They're not. Everything they've done to you now is coming back on them. The way they made you feel is coming back on them. Okay? They have to carry the burdens of what they've done to you. You know, because you're not, you're moving forward in a way where you're seeming not to care. You know? 
You could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you're leaving this person behind, but you're doing it peacefully now. And see, you're holding this cup, right? This, what's in that cup is love, nurturing, spiritual abilities, okay? Um, your intuition is in this cup. Your belief in God is in this cup, okay? Your spiritual beliefs, your faith is in that cup. But I also feel like um, your knowledge is in that cup. Okay, knowing, um, knowing that this person, I feel like they triggered you um, and they pushed you to the limit. Okay, and now you've reached the limit of basically being dragged through the dirt by this person. Okay, you've reached that limit where you don't, you just don't want to deal with this anymore. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. You may not even want to see them anymore. And that's that shift where you finally say enough is enough. I'm going to look at this from a different perspective. Enough is enough. I'm not going to be heartbroken over anymore over this person. I don't want to think about the pain anymore in that way. Now, when you look at the pain, when you look at the things that you've been through in the past, you're looking at it from a logical standpoint. You're looking at it not in your emotions, okay? And you're able to move on. I feel like you're ready for new love. You're putting this behind you. Um, and I, I'm telling you, ooh, yeah, you are ready for love. Yes, thank you, Spirit. Again, they're confirming what I say. Like, as soon as I say it today, you guys. Um, yeah, you could be a Virgo. You've gone through a major transformation here. You've transformed your life because of everything that you've been through. See, there's that knowledge that you have, okay? That because of what you've been through, you were able to learn, look at things the right way, forge on, have that determination to not let this person keep you down, right? Are you focused on all the right stuff? You know, this is you, I feel like, making that shift. You were able to transform yourself. You've reinvented yourself because of everything that you've been through. You know, and I feel like you're getting nine pentacles here, and this person, whoever hurt you, they're getting ten of wands. That's the burdens being put back on its rightful owner. Okay, the one who hurt you, the one who deserves to carry these burdens, that's who's going to carry these burdens. You're putting this down. And I feel like you're, um, you're about to, if your abundance hasn't come in yet, you're about to be very abundant. Okay, that money's going to be rolling in. A success in a business or your job, growing, um, growing your finances, right? Growing that stability. That's where you're headed. And you are ready for love here. You've got everything you need here in the Nine of Pentacles. Everything you want except for one pentacle. And that pentacle that's missing stands for a soulmate at your side. So right now you're single, but you're ready for love. And you're about to get new love. And this new love could be somebody that you could possibly... Um, have a commitment with something that's going to last something that's going to stand the test of time you're ready for it and there's this person this person from your past they know it they know that you're out here single you're the real treasure in the deck okay you were the hidden gem you've transformed on this person like um i feel like they thought that you didn't have enough or they thought that you would never be successful and you flipped on them you're, you're going to be very successful, and you're going to have the right kind of love. And you may even have some kind of stardom. I feel like in star energy, I'm feeling like I'm picking up on divine feminine energy here. 
Um, you could have your own platform. You could be a public speaker, a spiritualist. This is all the knowledge that you have, the spiritual knowledge. Okay. This is you making that shift. Having a victory, being in the public eye. I feel like this is a new person coming in. They could also have their own platform. They could be in the public eye as well. Very well celebrated um, by, by their community or very like popular if they have, um, you know, like say they have a YouTube channel or something on TikTok or something. This person has a lot of followers, a lot of people that love what they do. This is a new person coming in for you. And when this person meets you, they're going to know exactly what they want. Okay? Um, so, yeah, you've got new love coming in. And this person from your past that did all of this to hurt you and wanted to drop the burdens on you, now they're emotional. Now they're crying themselves to sleep at night, if they're sleeping at all. You could have been dealing with a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, now this person is in a lot of regret. I feel like things have gotten so difficult for this person now that they're actually praying to God for forgiveness. Please lift this karma. Please allow me to get some sleep at night. Right? This is somebody who clearly underestimated you and thought they were better than you. Okay? They thought that you would always be in peasant clothing. They thought you'd always have an empty basket. This is somebody who talked about you to other people. There could have been a whole community of people talking about you. Snickering behind your back. Making fun of you. Okay? Trying to continue to bring you down all right and no you flipped on this person i'm telling you all of your hard work all the seeds that you were planting while people were planning plotting and strategizing on your demise all the things that you were doing and focused on during that time of separation it's all grown now now you're in um, receiving mode. You're harvesting um, from the hard work you put in. Okay? You flipped on this person. Now they're looking at you like you have more pentacles than they do because you, you do. You're, you're, um, you're doing better in your life than they are. And they're amazed. This person may want you back now, but I feel like it's too late. They want to come in with an apology. You know, here's the thing. Here's their offer. The offer's too late. Here's their apology, and you don't trust it anymore. Okay? So I feel like whoever did this to you in the past or treated you badly in the past, they can't come back in now. They want to, but they can't. Okay? Who is this King of Swords energy? You could have a few exes here. I'm seeing like possibly three exes that want to come back around. There's a king of swords energy that thinks they're your twin flame. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They think that you're their twin flame, but they're jealous of you because you're doing better than they are. I feel like this person from the past, all of these people, they could have been karmics. All of them. And, and, you know, because if this person is your twin flame, divine partners, divine beings aren't jealous of each other. So this person thinks they're, they think they're a divine masculine or divine feminine, but they're not. They're karmic. Okay? And they're angry and upset because you've got more than they, are, than they do. This ex here, this king of pentacles energy, they're upset. They're shocked because now you have more than they do. This king of wands energy, this one who trash-talked you, put you down, tried to put all the blame of everything on you. Now they're upset because you're, you've got freedom from the burdens and they don't. Um, each one of these people, none of them 
deserve to be in your energy. They're all exes that that want you back or want to see you struggling. Okay, they don't want to see you in all of this abundance. They don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see you in star energy. None of these people you're talking to, you're not you don't want to have anything to do with any of them. And you know what? They know that. And it's it's knocking them way off balance. They don't know what to do. You're not giving any of these people your attention. You're being silent. You're being still. You're trusting the divine and just allowing the divine to lead you. And none of these people know how to come back in. Okay? Because they don't deserve to come back in. I feel like spirit doesn't want them around you, you know, um, in the six of swords energy, you're being divinely led away from these people because all of these people have been be betraying you or they didn't see your value or they didn't see the worth in that blessing, that couple love. Yeah. Yeah. Spirits guiding you to just block these people out. You could have recently done a cord cutting. You could have done like, um, like in meditation, right? In meditation, you could have envisioned all three of these X's in front of you. And you could have envisioned yourself telling them, you know, hey, I tried to make it work, but you were foolish and I'm leaving now. Goodbye, right? You could have done something like that um, through meditation or prayer. And they felt that. It knocked them way off balance. They know that you're leaving them behind. They want to come towards you, but they can't because their the spirit is blocking their path. Okay? These exes, too, I feel like they're all experiencing money issues. All of them. Okay? Because they looked at you like you didn't have enough of it. And meanwhile, spirit is blessing you with more. So, yeah, you're about to get, like, I don't know, some kind of big bonus or a lot of success or a big payout or something. But it's incredible how much pentacles you, you've you got. 19. Okay, so you've got 25 pentacles here. And the most you can have in the deck is 10. And these people that you're leaving behind, they're amazed, they're angry, they're jealous. They're getting their karma. Spirit's like, yeah, see? And they're showing these people this. They're showing them. Spirit wants these people to see how successful you are now and the kind of success that you're going to have in the future because it's part of their karma. It's part of the lesson that they have to learn. Don't misjudge someone. Don't go treating somebody like they're nothing only to find out later that they're everything. That's what spirit is, is trying to teach these people. Okay, and spirit is putting you in some kind of spotlight so they can learn this lesson. All right? You could, you could be someone who's very spiritual. Um, you could be like another tarot card reader. You could be um, definitely a light worker, an empath, someone with a lot of spiritual knowledge. Okay, you could be out there um, delivering message for, messages from the divine to help people, guide people, teach people. But spirit is clearly showing you off here. They're, they're showing me the red carpet. Like spirit is um, putting you in the public eye so others can learn lessons from this. Oh, and your exes are learning some really harsh lessons right now. They are. I feel like all of them, all of them feel like absolute fools. Yeah, this is coming to an end. They're coming to an end. Uh, I feel like their money is really tight as well. They could be losing a job here as well. They could be getting fired from their job. They could not have enough money to pay for their bills or their rent or their mortgage. They could end up losing a home. You know, I feel like some of these people have done some spell work on you, okay? I feel like they've done some spell work, and if they have, it's coming back to them, and it, it could, um, 
it could lead to really bad health issues or worse. Okay? Yep, Spirit's telling these people to back off. They're feeling very stuck. It's like they want to approach you. They, they want to apologize. They want to maybe try to give you a little gift. But Spirit's like, the collective no longer needs anything that you have to offer. Yeah, Spirit's not letting these people come towards you. All they can do is look at you from a whole new perspective. A whole new view on things. You know, this is them like, um, like a, an, a, having an epiphany, having a realization. You know, this is them realizing they misjudged you, realizing they, they put you through um, a lot of trauma for no reason. Spirits making them look at themselves. You could be a Leo. Yeah, all they can do is watch you now from the sidelines. They can't come towards you. So these people are watching whatever you're doing in the spotlight. Okay, whatever internet platform you've got. It could be social media, it could be a website, it could be a YouTube channel, it could be Twitter or whatever, any of those, right? They're, they're able to watch you because Spirit wanted you in the spotlight so that you could teach other people. You're, you're helping to guide others and give people like um, spiritual instruction but you're teaching these other people that have hurt you a very harsh lesson. Okay? And now they, I feel like all of these exes, they want the one person they can't have. And that's you. Yeah, because um, they've already proven that they don't deserve you. Yeah, Spirit's leading you in a whole new direction. Yep, and these people from your past, they have to watch as you get blessed with a lot of money, success, and love. I can't make it up. Yep, and things are ending for these people as you walk away. Okay? You're not going to carry, I don't see any burdens. See, do you see any burdens that you're carrying here? No, none. You're given all the burdens of what they've done to you right back to them the rightful owner. And um, now spirit is bringing in all of these blessings for you and peace. This is that shift. You're moving forward in peace. Okay. Um, you're moving on in peace. You're not in your emotions. And this is that shift, right? Um, I feel like this is your shift. This could be you in meditation saying goodbye to these people energetically right and leaving them all behind and knowing that these blessings are coming in for you i i really love this energy for you i really do yeah none of these people are for you you're rejecting them all energetically and moving on to calmer water six of swords yep you're peaceful, you're calm. Spirit is smiling at you from above. Look at Spirit is so proud of you and how far you've come. You should be proud of yourself for how far you've come because these people all have put you through so much heartache and betrayal. Yeah, but this is you making that shift, leaving them behind, and they're feeling rejected now. They made you feel rejected, now they're the ones being rejected. Okay? And I feel like none of these people from your past can come back in anymore. 